All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Dave. We're in the kitchen today. We're not cooking outside because it's August and it's hot. Uh, we're gonna make today uh, a hash brown casserole, something I make for just about every get together we have at work. So we're gonna do some country style shredded hash browns. We're gonna do a cornflake top. We've got some shredded cheese we're gonna throw in there, a little bit of melted butter and some salt and pepper. Secret things I like to do, not so secret, pretty common actually. Cream of chicken, soup, and a little dollop of daisy. We'll get a little sour cream in there. Helps you get a good consistency for a good casserole. So I'll go ahead and mix it all up. Start with the potatoes. I like to leave them frozen. Some people like to thaw them out, but uh, that doesn't really work very good. If they're thawed out, stuff kind of sticks to them and they don't mix up very well. So we'll get our cream of chicken in there. I like to get the soup and the sour cream in there first. Mix them up. Just a dollop of an entire container of sour cream. Small container, not the big one. All right, we've got our soup and our sour cream in there. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle about two tablespoons of salt in there. If you've ever watched me cook, you know I use a lot of salt. Probably not the best thing in the world, but tastes good. We're gonna put about half of our bag of cheese in here. I like to put the other half on top. I'm gonna put a little bit of my, my cornflakes. We're gonna do some cornflake tops. I wanna put a little bit inside there, just a little added crunch. We'll get that all mixed up. All right, you might have noticed my four-legged friend here, Mowgli's watching the show today. He's our, our kitchen dog. Sometimes I use French fried onions today. We're gonna use the cornflakes to top it. Get a little bit of nonstick on there. Dump it all in to our big old casserole dish. And you'll see it'll help you mix it around as well once you get it in there. You'll see some of those taters in there that didn't get any sour cream and cheese mixed in. So we'll kind of spread them all out. No tater left behind. We've got everything looks pretty mixed together in there. What we actually have got some some melted butter and the rest of our cornflakes. Just gonna kind of dump that in there and mix it up. Just get a little bit of butter to give a little crust to the top of that special request I had for some crusty cornflake tops. All right, so those are ready. I'm gonna top it off with some more cheese. Can't go wrong with too much cheese in a, in a casserole like this. So we'll get the rest of our bag on there. Now we're gonna add our cornflake top. This just gives a little crunch, a little crust to the top. A little added flavor to it. I haven't craved cornflakes in a long time, but after I crunched these up, I was craving a big bowl of cornflakes. Cornflakes are on there. We'll do a little pepper. All right, I've got a little trick right before I put it in the oven. Something my mama taught me. I like to put a little bit of milk, just some skim milk in each corner. It puts a little moisture at the bottom of the, keeps it from burning down, down there. Just a little bit of milk. And that's ready to throw in the oven. 350 degrees for 45 minutes. All right, our casserole is, uh, looks like it's finished up. 350 degrees for 45 minutes. We'll pull it out of there. There it is. Got a little sizzle sound to it. Got those cornflakes are looking just right. Looks good. We're gonna dig in, plate up a little bit of it and see how it tastes. 